Welcome to Ecoholics. This is the video regarding five-year plans in India. We are talking about five-year plans. This is very important part because in the recent years we abolished the planning commission. So in order to get back a little bit of idea about every five-year plans, I am making a videos of every five-year plans in this video. So in this video we will discuss first five-year plan. That is very important because of the point of view that Niti Aayog has replaced planning commission in the year 2015. So before that, in the year 2017, that is current year, 2017, we finished our 12th 5-year plan. So this is one of the examples. We will look at to all the 5-year plans one by one in the subsequent videos. So this is 5-year plan. We will start with the establishment of planning commission that is 15th March 1950 we established planning commission by some executive resolution there are two terms planning commission is a non-constitutional body it means it is not mentioned in the constitution constitution mentions offices like finance commission comptroller and auditor general election commission etc it means the planning commission is not mentioned in our constitution the second term is non-statutory body. It means, statute means law book. Planning commission is also not established by passing any law through the parliament. That is why it is also called non-statutory body. It means it is not passed by any act it or any law. Now the planning commission set up by an executive resolution. The chairman of planning commission was prime minister. As same with the Niti Aayog also. The chairman is also prime minister. The main work is allotted to deputy chairman. So in the planning commission, we start with the first five year plan. First five year plan, that is first we will write the period. That is 1951 to 1956. This is the period of first five year plan. First five year plan, this period after independence. Planning commission established on 15th March 1950. This is when our Prime Minister, first Prime Minister established Planning Commission. We are talking about the first five year plan. The focus was on agriculture. Agriculture was given the first most priority. It means this is very important because at the time of the first five year plan, our three fourth population engaged in this sector, agriculture sector. It means our 75% population engaged in agriculture sector. So this is very obvious that we should focus on agriculture sector in order to move out from our poverty. Because in order to reduce the disparities of the individuals in our country, we need to focus on agriculture sector. Because majority of our population is earning livelihood from this sector. Now, now other, another major factor of, about this five-year plan, the architect of this five-year plan was K. N. Raj. Economist K. N. Raj was the architect of this first five-year plan. The one of the two most important thing is also the target growth rate. Target growth rate of this five-year plan was 2.1%. This is very, uh, we can say that this is very low target set by the government, but due to some uh, geopolitical situation like second world war and after partition 1947 so government expected that India should grow at 2.5 percent 2.1 percent at the initial phase but actually the actual growth rate was 3.6 percent it is very helpful because plan later on declared as a successful plan because we achieved more than 2.1 percent the major highlights of this plan was focused on agriculture sector. In order to improve agriculture sector, we need to develop irrigation facility. So we focused on irrigation, then water supply, canals, etc. We need to focus on these things. That is why government said the target that we should invest more because the investment rate 5% at the time of 1951 government think that we should increase it to 7% so 7% is our investment rate investment in this major necessity for agriculture sector 
If we are talking about other than agriculture, the government focused on reconstruction of our economy because due to partition and second world war, Indian economy was severely affected by these two big events of the world. So first is consolidation. Consolidation of Indian economy, pan-India integration. Consolidation and integration of Indian economy. That's a very important point because after the partition, we need to integrate our economy and also our uh, boundaries of country. Now if we talk about other than this, we need to remove the local economy. So government set up the target to remove this local economy. Here local economy means that zamindars, intermediaries, that informal economy that was hurting at the time of independence. That is 1951-1956 after independence. We need to remove zamindari. So for that government introduced tenancy reform. Tenancy reforms. So land belongs to tenants. So mainly tenancy reforms leading to the land reforms later on because land reforms is one of the biggest reform in agriculture and it is also pending till date in the year 2017 because land reforms is a very important part in order to improve our agriculture sector so tenancy reform initiated at the time of first five year plan that's a very important concept we'll be talking about other things like there was a problem of migration migration from Pakistan and East Pakistan so government also was also looking after the migration problem of the, uh, of the country. After that, the plan relatively got successful and agriculture was uh, improved at the time of 1956 when we were at the end of this five-year plan. So, agriculture production improved dramatically. Now, agriculture production is very important in order to reduce the disparities. The gap between rich and the poor, we need to decrease that gap. So, in order to improve agriculture, that's very important point. We need to increase or we need to decrease the disparities between the rich and the poor. These are the main highlights of the first five-year plans. Hope you like this video. If you have any doubt, you can write into the comment section or you can share, like or subscribe this channel or a video. That's very important. Hope you like this video and stay connected for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Have a good day.